Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Deep Dive Knowledge. What are some of the unique challenges presented by polymers in the context of machine learning and artificial intelligence? In the context of machine learning and artificial intelligence, polymers present unique challenges that need to be addressed. According to the report, some of these challenges include 1. Stochastic and hierarchical structure. Polymers have a complex and stochastic structure, which means that their properties are highly influenced by their molecular arrangement and the distribution of different components. This complexity poses challenges for accurate modeling and prediction using machine learning. Algorithms 2. Process-dependent morphology. The morphology of a polymer, which refers to its physical structure and arrangement, is highly dependent on the processing conditions it undergoes. This variability in morphology makes it difficult to establish general models and requires considering the process history of each polymer sample. 3. Non-standardized data formats. The data produced in polymer studies often lack standardized formats, making it challenging to aggregate and analyze large datasets. This lack of standardization hampers the development of machine learning models that require consistent and well-organized data inputs. These challenges highlight the need for specialized approaches and techniques in machine learning and artificial intelligence when applied to polymer science. Researchers are actively working on addressing these challenges to improve the accuracy and reliability of machine learning models for polymer studies. What are some of the emerging trends in machine learning and artificial intelligence as applied to polymer science that have received less attention in previous reviews? According to the report, there are several emerging trends in machine learning and artificial intelligence as applied to polymer science that have received less attention in previous reviews. These overlooked trends include 1. Autonomous experimentation. Machine learning algorithms are being used to automate and optimize the experimental process in polymer science. This involves using algorithms to design experiments, collect data, and analyze results, leading to more efficient and effective research. 2. Transfer learning. Transfer learning is a technique where knowledge gained from solving one problem is applied to a different, but related, problem. In polymer science, transfer learning can be used to leverage existing data and models to accelerate the development of new materials or properties. 3. Explainability. Explainability refers to the ability of machine learning models to provide understandable explanations for their predictions and decisions. In polymer science, explainable artificial intelligence can help researchers gain insights into the underlying mechanisms and properties of polymers, leading to a better understanding of their behavior. 4. Optimization. Machine learning algorithms can be used to optimize the properties and performance of polymers. By defining objectives and constraints, Algorithms can search through vast design spaces to identify the best combinations of parameters for desired properties. 5. Inverse design. Inverse design involves using machine learning to design polymers with desired properties. Instead of starting with a known polymer structure and predicting its properties, inverse design starts with desired properties and generates new polymer structures that exhibit those properties. 6. Deep learning. Deep learning, a subfield of machine learning, involves training artificial neural networks with multiple layers to learn complex patterns and re-studies. In polymer science, deep learning techniques can be used to analyze and predict polymer properties, enabling faster and more accurate material design. These emerging trends highlight the potential of machine learning and artificial intelligence to revolutionize polymer science by addressing unique challenges and uncovering new insights. By exploring these trends, 
Researchers can accelerate materials discovery and advance the field of polymer science. What are the steps involved in creating a machine learning pipeline for polymer science? As mentioned in the report. According to the report, the steps involved in creating a machine learning ML pipeline for polymer science are as follows. 1. Problem identification. The first step is to identify the specific problem or goal for the ML model. In polymer science, this could be materials, process design or knowledge discovery. For example, the goal could be to develop a new polymer chemistry or a new processing protocol. 2. Data collection. The next step is to collect relevant data for the ML model. This can include experimental data, simulation data, or data from literature sources. The quality and quantity of the data are crucial for the success of the ML model. 3. Feature engineering. Once the data is collected, the next step is to extract meaningful features from the raw data. Feature engineering involves selecting and transforming the data variables to create informative input features for the ML model. 4. Model selection and training. In this step, an appropriate ML model is selected based on the problem and data characteristics. The selected model is then trained using the collected data. The training process involves optimizing the model's parameters to minimize the difference between the predicted and actual outputs. 5. Model evaluation and validation. After training, the ML model needs to be evaluated and validated. Evaluation metrics are used to assess the model's performance and determine its accuracy and reliability. Validation is necessary to ensure that the model can generalize well to new unseen data. 6. Visualization and interpretation. Once the model is trained and validated, it is essential to visualize and interpret the results. Visualization techniques, such as plots and graphs, can help understand the relationships between variables and validate the model's predictions. Interpretability of the model's decisions is crucial for gaining insights and building trust in the model's outputs. 7. Production Model Deployment The final step is to deploy the ML model for its intended purpose, such as materials, process design or knowledge discovery. The production model can be used repeatedly or in real-time applications, depending on its efficiency and speed. Collaboration, sharing, and benchmarking of models are encouraged to further accelerate new materials discovery and scientific advancements in polymer science. It is important to note that these steps are a simplification of the actual ML pipelines used in production environments. The report suggests referring to additional resources for more comprehensive treatments of ML and model building in polymer science. What are some important growth areas in machine learning and artificial intelligence for polymer science? As outlined in the report, the report outlines several important growth areas in machine learning and artificial intelligence. For polymer science, these areas include 1. Autonomous experimentation. Machine learning and AI techniques can be used to automate and optimize the experimental process in polymer science. This involves using algorithms to design experiments, analyze data, and make decisions without human intervention. Autonomous experimentation has the potential to accelerate the discovery and development of new polymer materials. 2. Transfer learning. Transfer learning involves using knowledge learned from one task or domain to improve performance on another related task or domain. In the context of polymer science, transfer learning can be used to leverage existing data and models from one polymer system to enhance the understanding and design of another polymer system. This approach can save time and resources by reducing the need for extensive data collection and model training. 3. Explainability. 
Explainability refers to the ability of machine learning models to provide transparent and interpretable explanations for their predictions and decisions. In polymer science, explainable AI can help researchers understand the underlying factors and mechanisms influencing polymer properties and behavior. This can lead to more reliable and insightful insights, enabling better material design and optimization. 4. Optimization and Inverse Design Machine learning and AI methods can be employed to optimize polymer properties and design new materials with desired characteristics. Optimization algorithms can explore the vast design space of polymers to identify the best combinations of chemical structures and processing conditions. Inverse design approaches involve specifying desired properties and using machine learning to discover the corresponding polymer structures and compositions. 5. Deep learning. Deep learning, a subset of machine learning, involves training artificial neural networks with multiple layers to extract complex patterns and features from data. In polymer science, Deep learning algorithms can be used to analyze large and complex datasets, such as images of polymer microstructures or spectra from spectroscopy techniques. Deep learning has the potential to uncover hidden correlations and relationships in polymer data, leading to new insights and discoveries. These growth areas represent exciting opportunities for the application of machine learning and artificial intelligence in polymer science enabling advancements in material design characterization and understanding what is the role of open science and best practices in the field of polymer ml as discussed in the report according to the report the role of open science and best practices in the field of polymer machine learning is considered crucial for the advancement and adoption of machine learning within the polymer community. Open science refers to the practice of making scientific research, including data, methods, and findings, openly accessible to the public. In the context of polymer machine learning, open science promotes the sharing of high-quality open data, codebases, and benchmarks. By practicing open science, researchers in the polymer community can collaborate more effectively and accelerate the discovery of materials and knowledge. Open data sets with robust metadata, in accordance with fair data principles, ensure that shared data can be easily understood, accessed, and utilized by other researchers. This facilitates reproducibility and transparency in research best practices. On the other hand, refer to the guidelines and standards that researchers should follow in their work. In the field of polymer machine learning, best practices include writing analysis and production codes with shareability, maintainability, and reuse in mind. This ensures that the codes are well documented, modular, and easily understandable by other researchers enabling them to build upon existing work and collaborate more effectively. Moreover, the establishment of benchmarks is an important best practice. Benchmarks provide a ground truth against which researchers can validate their methods and claim improvements. By creating benchmarks, researchers can compare their machine learning models and techniques, fostering healthy competition and driving advancements in the field. Overall, open science and best practices promote collaboration, reproducibility, and transparency in polymer machine learning research. They contribute to the development of high-quality research and the acceleration of materials and knowledge discovery in the field. Thank you for the insightful discussion. To summarize, the report highlights the unique challenges presented by polymers in the context of machine learning and artificial intelligence. These challenges include the stochastic and hierarchical structure of polymers, process-dependent morphology, and non-standardized data formats. Despite these challenges, there are emerging trends in machine learning and AI for polymer science that have received less 
attention in previous reviews. These trends include autonomous experimentation, transfer learning, explainability, optimization and inverse design, and deep learning. The report also emphasizes the importance of following a structured ML pipeline, which involves problem identification, data collection, feature engineering, model selection and training, model evaluation and validation, visualization and interpretation, and production model deployment. Additionally, the report discusses the role of open science and best practices in the field of Polymer ML, highlighting the significance of sharing open data, adhering to best coding practices, and establishing benchmarks for validation and improvement. By addressing these challenges and embracing these trends and practices, machine learning is poised to revolutionize polymer science, leading to faster and more accurate materials discovery and scientific advancements. According to the report, there are several emerging trends in machine learning and artificial intelligence as applied to polymer science that have received less attention in previous reviews. These emerging trends include 1. Autonomous experimentation. This involves using machine learning algorithms to autonomously design and perform experiments on polymers, allowing for rapid and efficient exploration of the polymer space. 2. Transfer learning. Transfer learning involves leveraging knowledge gained from one polymer system to improve predictions and understanding in another system. This approach allows for the efficient use of existing data and models to accelerate research in new areas. 3. Explainability. Explainability refers to the ability to interpret and understand the decisions made by machine learning models. In the context of polymer science, explainability is important for gaining insights into the structure-property relationships of polymers and for making informed design decisions. 4. Optimization. Optimization techniques in machine learning can be used to optimize polymer properties, formulations, and processing conditions. These techniques enable the discovery of new polymers with desired properties in the optimization of existing polymer systems. 5. Inverse design. Inverse design involves using machine learning to design polymers with desired properties or functionalities. This approach allows researchers to work backwards from desired properties to identify the optimal molecular and structural design of polymers. These emerging trends highlight the potential of machine learning and artificial intelligence to revolutionize polymer science by enabling faster and more efficient materials discovery, optimization, and design. By addressing these less discussed topics, researchers can unlock new insights and accelerate advancements in the field. Exactly. These emerging trends in machine learning and artificial intelligence applied to polymer science have the potential to transform the way we understand, design, and optimize polymers. Autonomous experimentation can significantly speed up the process of exploring the vast polymer space, allowing for quicker identification of promising materials and formulations. Transfer learning leverages existing knowledge and models to enhance predictions and understanding in new polymer systems, saving time and resources. Explainability is essential for gaining insights into the complex structure property relationships of polymers, enabling researchers to make more informed design decisions. Optimization techniques help identify the optimal combination of properties formulations, and processing conditions for polymers, leading to improved performance and efficiency. Inverse design approaches allow researchers to work towards desired properties, creating new polymers with tailored functionalities. These trends collectively offer exciting possibilities for accelerating materials discovery, optimization, 
and design in polymer science using machine learning and artificial intelligence.